these uh, dry pine needles make excellent uh, fire fire starting material. So that's what I'm going to do. I got to build a little campfire and uh, I get ready to do some Dutch oven cooking. Oh, 
I gotta admit that fire feels pretty good. It's 34, 34 degrees out here. Although it's supposed to get up to like 49 or 50 today. So anyways, I came out here today to, um, to cook some beef stew. It's kind of a, it's a thing some people are doing. And uh, I'm gonna do it too. It's not really so much about the beef stew as it is using your cast iron. It's kind of, it's kind of a big collaboration thing of a bunch of people that are in uh, Native Tears is um, what she likes to call the cast iron crew. Those people likes to, you know, cook and cast iron. Anyway, so this month's theme kind of is beef stew. So let me show you what I got. Beef stew. Nah, not really. <laughs> I got real stuff. I'm, I'm going to cook in here. This is the stuff I'm going to use. What I have here, I got some uh, beef country ribs. Um, I don't know what that really is, but anyway, I cut it up in about one inch um, chunks, and it's been marinating in uh, a little uh, <laughs> a little Pepsi and Evan Williams bourbon. And uh, I, it's been marinating for about two days. A potato, clove. Oh, I'll get that clove of garlic, onion, a piece of celery, a carrot, some beef broth, and in here I got some flour that I, I put salt and pepper in this already when I was at home. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to coat that meat and fry it up a little bit, and then I just got some, uh, I don't know how much of this I'm going to use, but I just felt like I needed some tomato sauce. I, I, I probably won't even use this whole thing. Anyway. I'm gonna put all that stuff in the Dutch oven and <laughs> cook it up. Eh, I probably should have thought about bringing a, a bigger cutting board though. <laughs> and I probably should have a, a bigger knife. I'm gonna use my, uh, uh, this is my old hickory boning knife that I modified. I'm just gonna I'm gonna flour up that beef and go ahead and fry it and then I'm gonna put that beef stock in my in there but I'm not gonna put all these vegetables I'm only gonna put these in there like the last maybe like the last hour I scooted some coals underneath the Dutch oven and I've been letting it you know get pre-warm I'm gonna put a little oil in that I think I guess what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna put my flour in this bag right here. I'm gonna put all those, that beef chunks in here, and then I'm just gonna shake them up, and hopefully, you know, they'll all get coated. So that's what I'm gonna do.
Yeah, it's browning up good. That, that flour is going to help thicken things later. I don't, I don't really want that just to sit there and boil for two hours. I, uh, it's, it's kind of boiling right now, but I just want it, with, I'm going to slide some of that heat away from it so it'll just simmer. Because I don't want, you know, I think if it boils, that meat is going to get really tough. If it just simmers for a couple hours, it'll be good. I gotta do something for an hour. <laughs> You know, I will take I will take the opportunity though, while that's cooking, to tell you, I'm gonna put a link, some links down down below, to to D at Native Tears and and Sean at Shov Shovelhead Eight. Sean, he, uh, I guess it was D's idea to do this cast iron, cast iron Wednesday thing, and then, uh, you know, well, a lot of people did it. I mean, a lot of people still do do it, but Sean, man, he's the He's the king of cast iron now. He, he does one every Wednesday. And it's not like camp cooking. He Man, he cooks like, I mean, he does, don't get me wrong now, but he does some fancy stuff. I mean, like desserts and bake, baking and all, all different kind of stuff. It, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting to watch. He, he, he kind of researches some recipes. He'll Google some stuff, get some ideas, and then kind of adapt it to his own, own way of doing things. He, he lives in Canada. But uh, he's a cool dude, and Dee's a cool chick too, so um, y'all should go check him out. Almost an hour. So I guess I'm going to put those veggies in there. Smells good. Now I have a whole nother hour to wait. Uh oh. My phone that I use to record on only has 8% left. That's a good thing. Good thing I brought this. Check this out. 
Ron T. Sawyer, he sent me this as a, as a light. It hangs up, you know, but it also is a charger. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to charge up my phone right now. Uh, maybe I got <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, yeah. I guess it helps if you turn it on. Anyway. Cool beans. Oh, well, now it says. That's weird. I know it don't charge that fast. I said 8% a minute ago. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I got to charge it up anyway. Thanks, Ron. Yeah, that's what I. This is what I record all my videos on. And I edit them on that. Look at my. I'm, I'm a sad case, aren't I? <laughs> I need a new. I need, I need some new equipment. <laughs> yeah, I think I am going to add a little bit. I usually don't do this. But I don't know why I want to do it today. I'm just I'm gonna add I'm gonna add this tomato sauce. Not all only about half a can. It's looking pretty good. It's time. It's time to eat. I might have to return fire. Anyway, I didn't bring anything to scoop my stew out with, so I guess I'm just going to... I think I'm going to scoop it out with this and then pour it... I'm going to scoop it out with this and then pour it in my... Kuska. 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 Whatever. Oh yeah, Texas Pete makes it perfect. I'm real happy with the way it came out. The carrots are tender. The potatoes are tender. The meat's tender. The gravy is good. It's good and thick. I like everything about it. There's only one... There is one thing, though, that would make this better. Yeah, I knew sooner or later that stump was going to produce just, in, just at the right time, too. Well, I'm going to have my lunch now. Wow, this is, this is taking... 
This might not be the longest video I ever did, but dang, it sure did take sure to take a long time to make it. Anyway, I'm gonna have my lunch. I'm gonna have my beer. I want to say thanks, thanks for watching, and um, check out my friends. I'll put links down below, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.